Senator Cordy. Thank you, Speaker. Firstly, on behalf of my colleague, Senator Francis, I would like to remind honorable senators that on November 8th, we celebrate National Aboriginal Veterans Day to honor the contributions of, of our First Nation and Métis people who served in the Canadian military. Senator Christmas reminded us of this in a statement two years ago. At that time, I was moved by Senator Christmas's tribute to his father, Private Augustus, Gus Christmas. Today, I would like to share the story of my father, Private Lockie McKinnon, and my brother, Commander Charlie McKinnon, who both served our country in Canada's armed forces. My father served in World War II. I can't imagine what it must have been like to leave his home in Grand Myra in Cape Breton. Population, well, not very big, at the age of 19, to head to Italy and to Holland to fight in a war. I'm sure that he couldn't begin to imagine the horrors of wartime. My father didn't have the luxury of texting or Zoom or Teams or even email. When soldiers left home, they had to rely on writing letters which could take weeks or even months to cross the Atlantic during wartime. As children, my father never spoke to us about the horrors of war. Instead, he spoke to us about the things he saw or did like the Canadian troops going to the Vatican for mass said by the Pope, or like being on leave in Edinburgh and going into a pub where he met his cousin, who was also from Grand Myra. How exciting that must have been for both of them. My husband's grandfather, Sergeant Tom Cordy, who served in World War I, only started talking about the war when he was in his 80s. He talked about his unit, marching through the woods and the soldier behind him getting killed by a sniper. He said that when you got back to camp, all the men wondered, why him and not me? I'm sure this was repeated many times in many camps during the wars. As a member of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly and a former member of the Senate National Security and Defense Committee, I had the chance to travel across Canada and around the world, meeting with their service women and men. They are incredible people. In my official travels, I was lucky to visit my brother, Commander Charlie McKinnon, who was stationed in Brunson in the Netherlands with the Canadian forces. I phoned to tell him that I was going to ISAF headquarters in Kabul, Afghanistan, with the NATO parliamentary group. He told me that he was being posted to Afghanistan to do the logistics for Canada in setting up the base in Kandahar, and he would be at ISAF headquarters at the same time as me. Imagine the feeling of seeing my brother in Kabul and both of us there on government business. Two Cape Bretoners in Afghanistan. I think my dad and my mom would have been very proud. Honorable Senators, I salute all our veterans, those who have served and those who continue to serve. So while Remembrance Day and National Aboriginal Veterans Day will be different this year, let us all take a moment to remember. Thank you.